hello everyone and welcome to my today's videos and don't forget to subscribe otherwise stay home stay safe sanitize and wash your hands always hi welcome guys today we are going to look at indirect proportionality or indirect proportions uh, as we know uh, a decrease leads to an increase and an increase leads to a decrease what you're simply saying in the in the case of indirect proportion when something increases the other one decreases and when something decreases the other one decreases as I'm going to show you in the examples we have got some examples that I'll carry you through the first one is 12 men can paint a house in five days how many men are needed to paint the house in six days so when you're doing a question in proportionality we normally have two columns we shall have the column of men and the column of days so we shall have 12 men doing the job in five days and we are asked how many men will do the job in six days in proportionality when indirect proportionality when you have an indirect question of proportionality we multiply the rows the first row we shall multiply the way it is and the second row we shall divide so we shall have 12 by 5 then divide by 6 when you solve 6 there are 1 6 there are 2 when you multiply we shall have 10 therefore we have 10 men and this is our answer in my second example we have got 10 women can complete a certain job a certain job in six days after working for two days four more women joined them uh, in how many days was the work completed so in this case we shall also come up with the columns we shall have the column of women and the column of days so we shall have uh, 10 women completing in six days then we are told after working for two days this 10 so we shall introduce another column there of 10 after working for two days others came in so how many came in four so we shall add on 10 four we shall have 14 came in and they finished the job in a particular number of days in a such a like question that now comes we up with three rows we introduce a third column which we call the work done so we know that 10 men 10 women working in six days they'll finish the job so the job will complete whole number one but if 10 women works in two days they'll do part of the job and the part of the job to calculate the part of the job we shall first of all ignore the number of women since they are the same 10 10 and now deal with the variable of the two columns that is days and work done therefore we shall have if six women if six days the work is finished what part of the work shall be done in two days in a such a like case we shall cross multiply and have two times one 
over 6 which gives us when you simplify there 1 there 3 a third therefore we shall fill here a third this one gives us an automatic answer here in that if this is a third then the work that is remaining is two thirds that is whole number one subtract a third you get two you get two thirds therefore we are remaining with only one blank space to fill okay therefore we shall have uh, 10 over 14 this one remains the way it is times 2 because it's only 2 times uh, we shall now find the reciprocal we shall multiply 2 times 3 2 times 2 over 3 that is 2 over 3 and then times the reciprocal of this other one 3 over 1 therefore we shall simplify when we simplify we shall have 3 and 3 we shall have 2 here 1 2 here 7 then multiply the numerators 10 times 2 20 10 10 times 7 times 1 7 when we divide we shall have um, 2 whole number uh, 2 whole number 6 over 7 which we shall fill in this blank space 2 whole number 6 over 7 therefore the total number of days are we shall add this and this so which we shall have 2 plus 2 6 over 7 giving us 4 6 over 7 days and that is our answer uh, the third question says it takes 21 men uh, 4 days to make 200 bricks how many more new how many more men will be required to make the same number of bricks in three days so in this case we shall also have the columns so we've got the column of men the column of days and third one is column of bricks so 21 men can do the job in four days they make 200 bricks and um and uh, how many men will be required to do the job in three days if they are going to make the same number of bricks so in this question you can see clearly we have got three columns the first one for men the second one of days third one for bricks so the bricks are the same so if the bricks column is the same we ignore it and then now our variable concentrates on men and days 21 men can do the job in four days three days like we said in indirect proportionality we multiply the rows the first row and then the second row we divide therefore we shall have three there one three there seven seven times four is 28 so here we shall have 28 men therefore our answer shall be 28 men but from the question we have been told how many more since we are answering the question now we shall have the 28 who can do in three days take away the 21 who can do in four, uh, four days and our answer shall be shall be seven men seven more men